Hi everybody. How's everybody doing? I hope you find yourselves having a wonderful day or night. Um, I'm here to share with you guys what I'll be making in this YouTube project. Um, I'm really happy with the endings. What you see it hanging from will be a tutorial coming in the near future, probably right after this video, maybe a week or so after this video. But this is what we'll be making, and I was inspired by Lori Richardson here on YouTube. I'll leave the link down below. She did it a little different, um, and I did it a little different, but I surely was inspired by her. Mm. I suggest you hop on over there and check hers out. So what you'll be needing is some aluminum foil. I was going to use clay, and I was going to use spray, but I decided not to. Um... So you, what you're going to do is make yourself a shape. I decided to stick with the simple shape, which was a heart. And it's very free form. Don't fuss over it. The more organic, I personally think, the more prettier, the more unique, the more one of a kind. And you just shape it. Don't worry about any bumps or lumps or none of that stuff. It's quite easy. And then I use a box to form a star because I would not be able to form a star freehand. I'm not very good at um, straight lines and stuff like that. When I was making this project, I had no clue how happy it was going to make me in my second project where this ended up at. I thought I was just going to hang these up as charms on my window, like Cali Black does, and probably a lot of others. But after having it around in my room and just hanging there, I thought, let's make something else. So I'm super excited for you guys to see my second video and what I did with them. So I just mix up some water and glue. Regular school glue will work just fine. And then I'm going to get a napkin. And I'm going to use the white part of the napkin first. You can use whatever you like, tissue paper, wrapping paper. Anything that's pliable will work just fine. And I did speed through this part because it's quite simple. It's just tissue paper, water, and glue. And just go at it. No matter how messy it is or how messy it looks, the end results are wonderful. I'm just going to wrap all of these little guys up. I made a bird off of off the camera, but I did do the heart and the star with you guys. Now, I suggest you don't follow my instructions on the whole. I suggest you guys don't do what I did. It was quite dangerous, and I'm glad I sped through the through the process because I think you guys would have been on the edge of your seats, hoping and praying that I didn't stab myself. Thank goodness I did not stab myself, but I do suggest, um, just like Lori suggested, is that's what they look like dry right there. And then we're going to start speeding through again. And I just grabbed some paint and I'm just going to paint our first base. But anyways, as soon as, before they're dry, make some holes in there. Figure out a way to get those holes in there. The easiest way I found to get the holes in there was um, a drill bit or a really thick needle pushed against your desk. Keep your fingers out of the way though. So here's my first coat and I'm rubbing away the excess. For what reason am I doing that? There is no reason behind any of this. No reason behind the project. Just all I know is that I was inspired by Lori and I went at it organically in my way. Um, I'm just using really nice colors. I'm trying to keep them um, mat kind of matching but at the same time whimsical and different and I'm just choosing colors that make me happy and I have some mint, some peach and I use a little bit of the burgundy which I ended up not using at the end. It's a little too dark for me. I say you stick with between two and three colors so that you don't make mud. 
and I'm just rubbing with my fingers and because it was so messy you know remember I said be free with it make it as messy as possible because I did make it as messy as possible there were so many wrinkles in the heart in the star and the bird that it picked up the paint so nicely very nicely like the paint went into crevices and stayed on top of other parts and I was able to wipe and use my finger and it made me so happy you guys I'm, I don't know if you guys can hear the crickets they're singing their song and then on the star I'm using some something dust fairy dust I don't know glitter dust and for the bird I wanted it to be a little rugged um, getting to thinking towards this point is that what I'm going to end up doing with it which I'll release the video and share with you guys what I'm going to do with it uh, I started thinking if I'm going to do that then I'm going to need to make it more boho so now I'm heading towards instead of the cutesy I'm heading towards a boho gypsy look with the bird and the heart I'm just picking up glitter from the table and some iridescent paint and mixing the two with my finger and that's what they look like all dry and then I'm going to add some metallic luster I think it's called and that made me even more happy you guys hear my squeaky chair comfortable chair though then once they're dry they are they feel like um, paper mache because of the see this is where I'm putting the holes now I was able to get the hole in but do you see how dangerous that is I mean it could have eas it would have easily and could have easily slipped and got me right in the hand so that's why I do suggest before it dries or at least when it's halfway dry um, try to make your holes or even when it's all the way dry a drill press would go right through it quite nicely then I'm going to run some purple 22 gauge wire actually I think it's an 18 gauge wire then it takes a minute to get that in to straighten up your wire as much as possible and be patient and eventually get through then I pull out my stash of random beads that I throw into that little container I have there. And I'm not being picky at all. Not too much because it's going to be boho. Anything goes. And then I'm going to coil up the end and leaving a little eye pin at the end. So that I can add some more do dads random I'm gonna add some more beads at the top also now you can call it done completely done now Lori wrapped her wire all around her stuff all around hers and she I think used polymer clay I skipped the polymer clay and I skipped the wiring um, wire wrapping the whole thing so yeah, I suggest you go over to her, her video and watch her technique. And then we're moving on. You see that thick needle I have right there? 
that worked really good. It was very stable. It was very. It is very strong. Once I pushed it against the table, it went in really easy. But again, be very careful. And here we go again. Another hole. You can call it completely done without the holes. Another suggestion that would be quite cute is don't put a hole. Throw a magnet in the back, you know, with some E6000, let it dry 24 hours, and you've got some really pretty magnets for your fridge or to take to work and put on your whiteboard would look really nice. Or give us gifts. Okay, it's the next day and I gathered supplies and I gathered little trinkets that I thought maybe I would use. Some I did, some I didn't. And I'm using some copper wire that I pick up at the hardware store. Much cheaper than picking up the same stuff at Michael's. At the hardware store I think it's like $1.99 or $2.99. And just finding the random pieces and doing the same thing, what, wrapping it around, making little loops on both ends so that I have the option of adding chain or yarn. I do slow down the video to share with you guys what it looks like once all the beading and wiring is on. I've got lots of broken jewelry. So once I finish this bird and I'm done adding all the thingamajigs to it, I will slow down the video and you'll be able to see exactly what it looks like. I was going to add chain, but it was giving me a hard time, so I said forget it. Moved on. Grabbed a different chain. Now it's springtime, and it's a perfect time to get your garden all jazzed up. This would be really cute in your garden. Hanging from a tree if you have in your garden. I have chandeliers. I have all sorts of stuff hanging from my trees. And then I have my um, twinkle lights, looks my bench, and lots and lots of uh, logs that I've found on the side of the tree. And here I'm using the chain just to make a little loop to be able to hang from. I can't wait till you guys see what I did with all of these pieces. And that'll come up in the next video in a few days after you view this one. On the bottom where you see me fussing, there was just some random jump rings that I had to remove. Now oh, I ended up grabbing one of the jump rings, leaving it there, and placing a filigree, which I painted with um, a vintage metal paint. I'm quite happy with it. What am I going to do with this? Okay, so I'm grabbing jump rings. Oh, I'm adding some bells. I totally forgot that. So I have some bells that, um, 
Oh goodness, I ordered many, many moons ago from India. And uh, I think I got about... I'm shaking it to see if it makes enough noise for me. I don't think it did. I think I ended up adding two more. Three bells for good luck. Once the wind hits, it makes that perfect sound for me. Um, so yeah, I think I ordered them off of eBay and it came like 50 for like, oh, I want to say under $2. And they're straight from India and they're gorgeous. And I'm just getting random pieces of chain. My jump rings are random sizes. Um, every, I love mixing metals. I really love mixing metals. And I think we got one more to go. I tried to keep the chain equally the same, but reality is I, I really didn't care much so oops sorry it's getting chilly so I'm gonna close the door yep makes enough noise for me <laughs> and here's what it looks like And then moving on to the heart. I could have stopped the video and that probably would have been good. But I did want to share with you guys all three of them. Since I did make them all three with you guys. Except for the bird. You know, the bird I was, wasn't was quite sure that I was going to be able to form a bird. And so I did do that one off camera. Because I didn't think I was going to be able to make it. But it came out. So I decided let's just throw it in. Just give it a go. Give it a try. Whatever shape comes to your mind, give it a go. You just never know if it comes out. Like the bird came out for me and it was quite a surprise. Oh, on this one, I socialized the heart with a sacred heart and uh, Day of the Dead. So I put a Virgin Mary, I hung it from a uh, chain, and I hung it from the filigree. And I actually did not speed through this one. This one is going to go regular speed. And the thing you see coming up is a teardrop. I thought that I couldn't get a big enough jump ring to go straight through the teardrop, but it was quite thick. So I tried to open up that jump ring as much as possible and straighten it out just a little towards the bottom. It didn't work out, so I said, you know, let's just freeform. Let's just wire this up. And that's what I did. That that you see there is my wipe-up rag that I love to use in jewelry. I love to use it. It's so bright, so pretty. I hung some beads. I strung, I strung the beads into um, the little shreds. 
about a, about a year ago and I just had it sitting there and I think I hung it from something and it ripped off so I put it on my desk and it was there so I thought I'd just use it here and it went it went quite well because now it looks like a shooting star like a boho shooting star and the yellow beads that you see right there I end up taking off and adding some colorful beads instead all these beads that you see are um, pre-beaded um, chains that I've made just when I'm just sitting around I'll beat up some chain and then I'll just set it aside and we'll use it for projects and this one went quite fast and we're all done with that and now what you get to see is them hanging outside right there in my little porch area where I have brunch because I'm never up for breakfast where I have brunch and dinner and sometimes a late night drink listen to the crickets and the next video I hope you guys come back to watch it's in a few days and I'll show you what I did with these um, I don't even know what to call them little little chimes I'm so excited hope you guys come back and I'll catch you guys later don't forget to share with your friends don't forget to go out and do something really nice for yourselves have a great day have a great night bye bye